Okay. Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to make sure that you can all hear us. So if you could just pop a quick thumbs up or something as an indication that we are live. I think somebody just, we can hear you, brilliant. <laughs> Excellent, so we are here. Excellent, great. Right, so you would have heard a little bit of a conversation anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. Uh, we are having a little bit of technical glitch here. So we were trying to get the um, multilingual webinar going on, and uh, this is our first time. Um, so had a little bit of technical error, so apologies for that. However, the show is going to go on. Um, so welcome all to the call. We have got, um, this is our regular HPE Tech Data series of webinars that we do. And today we've got Alan from HPE and we've got Ian from our special guest, Ian from Nutanix. And um, we are recording this webinar. Uh, Ruj, you have pressed record, right? Yes, I have. Brilliant. Thank you. So we are recording this webinar. The reason we are doing that is so that this is available on demand for you um, and your colleagues to um, to access later on. So I can see a lot of you have attended and a lot of you wanted to but could not make it. So no problem at all. We are recording this and we're going to be hosting this on Tech Data Channel Academy. So I want to quickly share my screen and take you through a couple of slides here. So this is very quickly to explain um, what we're going to cover. So uh, of course, our topic today is HP GreenLake for Nutanix, so private cloud and database as a service. So I will let Alan and Ian do their magic. But before that, I also wanted to give you a very quick snip of a Channel Academy as well. So Channel Academies are online enablement tool, um, which is absolutely free for all our tech data partners and their colleagues to access. Um, so in Channel Academy, we've got a lot of GreenLake content. So obviously, as partners, you've asked us all these questions around GreenLake. Why are we aren't ready for GreenLake? What happens then? How will GreenLake help my customers? How will it help my grow? Help um, my business grow? And all these different questions. So we've put together bite-sized. Uh, training videos that covers everything around GreenLake and much more. There's training on SimpliVity and um, a storage and so many different topics. I'm not a technology expert, pure learning and development. So for me, uh, what's important is you've got all these great uh, bite-sized training, which you can take in your coffee break, your um, you know, you're traveling to a meeting, you've got quick 10 minutes, pop in and have a look. So all of this is there. We've translated the content into all different languages and we'll be translating these webinars going forward also into all different languages. So it makes sense and it becomes like a proper content for you all. So I wanted to quickly take you through that. And I also wanted to show you Tech Data Channel Academy. So Ruj, if you could pop this into, um, into the chat section so yep. everybody can access it. So of when course. you click, click, so this gives you a very good overview of what Channel Academy is. We've got all these different vendors over here um, and we've got HPE in there. So if you click on login register, it comes onto this particular page. Great thing about Channel Academies if you have an in-touch login, it's single sign-on access for you. you. You simply click on here, enter your in-touch account details, and you will be into the webinar, uh, sorry, into the content. And if you have your registration details, you just simply put in your email and your password, and you come into Tech Data Channel Academy. So um, I also want to quickly show you how to search for your GreenLake content as well. Apologies, my... Internet is taking a little bit of time. And all you have to do is when the dashboard kind of pops up, you simply go to add to library section, which is over here. And then you search for HPE. As you can see, it's a multi-vendor training platform for our um, partners. Um, so lots and lots of vendors. HPE is one of our very big vendors here with a lot of training content. So you simply click on Green Lake, you register. Once you have registered, you come back to your portal, which is your Tech Data Channel Academy homepage. 
And then there is a section called My Library, which will be in your um, left hand menu when that pops up. And when you click on that, which is your My Library, and you click on HPE or you put Green Lake, this pops up. And then when you click on that, you've got all the training that we have over here. So you can search it by titles, by language and everything. You will only see your language content. So if you're in France, you will only see the French content. If you're in Germany, you will see the German content. English content, we've opened it to everybody so you can all access it. So this is how simple it is to access the learning content. We will send you an email once the webinar is over so that you can all um, have direct links to access. So all you have to do is click on the direct link and it will take you into the content. So that was Tech Data Channel Academy. And Alan, over to you now. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Angie. Okay, so while we're um, loading up the slides, yes, yeah, so um, my name is Alan Gregory. Good morning to you all and thanks for, for joining the call today. And, and um, I hope that you and your loved ones are, are all keeping um, safe and well. So I work at HP in our worldwide um, Green Lake go-to-market team and I'm aligned uh, to Nutanix as well as some of our other key ISV partners. And, and again, it's great to be on another call with you, Ian, because um, you know, one thing I never do is, is tire of talking about our, our customers and partners and, and the strength and success of this relationship. So as Angie mentioned, we're going to um, run through this today. So I'll, I'll be starting with an overview of um, the HP and Nutanix partnership, um, along with a few slides around HP GreenLake and the benefits of what we can jointly take to our customers. Ian will then introduce himself and talk through our current portfolio, focusing on uh, private cloud and databases as a service. I think he's then going to look at where we've been successful and uh, finish off with a couple of great customer win examples. I'll then uh, kind of close off with thoughts on why our channel partners are really starting to lean in on, on HPE GreenLake with a view of, of what we look for to help you guys to uh, what, what a good fit um, HPE GreenLake customer looks like. And then I believe we'll, we'll have questions as, uh, as, as, as we go through. So um, let, me, uh, let me kick off. Okay, let's so try and change the slides. There we go, great, apologies for that. So, um, yeah, so as I mentioned, so I've had the pleasure of being involved with um, with the HPE uh, Nutanix relationship since we started in in October 2019, and it's been a phenomenal success. Uh, success, sorry, we've we've seen many new customers, uh, especially in EMEA, and the pipeline of business uh, and opportunities continues to to be very strong. And one thing we do when we when we engage well, we do tend to win. Um, and it was it was interesting for me to take the role initially as uh, Nutanix was seen as a as a competitor, um, and on the face of it, it was difficult to understand how we could be better together. But actually, when you know that that view quickly changed, and and you'll get an idea as to as to why as we go through the four value points that that you can see here. So, um, delivering choice uh, is absolutely key in this age of digital transformation, and and being able to offer a solution um, that brings two industry leading technologies companies together um, was really embraced by our customers. Um, they saw some real value straight away. Uh, Kind of, you know, two great companies really at the top of their game. Um, and this created a, a tremendous opportunity. So as well as that, you know, it's important that, that customers are confident in, in the technology itself. And there, there has been and continues to be a great effort from, from both of us to ensure that the DX platform is fully optimized and certified and has been engineered with the solution and also the customer in mind. So one of the main value points from Nutanix is obviously their, their capability around taking away the complexity and making the management plane simple and efficient. And when you add the way that HP GreenLake works with the silicon route of trust within the hardware and the support options that we can provide, this really does make a compelling story for our customers. And cloud, so, so cloud is no longer a destination, it, it's a journey. And this partnership can really help the customer's digital transformation uh, by giving cloud economics on premise. We can be a trusted advisor on that journey by delivering what we call the cloud that comes to you.
Apologies, I've got a little bit of problems with the moving the screen. Here we go. So, yeah, so at the HB, we, we believe that the cloud should come to the customer uh, and on their terms. So the first thing to mention is, um, is that, you know, we are truly edge to cloud and, and we also are able to offer now the one service on co-location with our existing relationships uh, with Equinix uh, and Cirrus One. And there are four pillars that really underpin this type of approach. So self-service, you know, today customers are much more tech savvy, they're more proactive uh, and they're, they're more informed and they prefer self-service over to having waiting queues or go through time consuming customer support. And we're really in, a, in an era of instant, so faster access, and, and with that comes faster outcomes. And also we're in an era of self-service platforms. Uh, and we see that our customers want to be able to serve up more nodes or database instances, at a push of a button and not through archaic or time-consuming processes. Pay-per-use, so we, we come across many organizations that are budget constrained, and we've never heard that budgets are flexible from anyone. So, um, you know, CapEx is, as, as a sole option, it, it's really a narrow view of how customers in general want to pay for goods and services. And, and this is true for IT departments as well. So pay for use models, they help boost uh, customers financial flexibility and helps them free up the, their capital. They also offer a better way to track usage and thereby they help control the costs while also aligning costs to business outcomes. To scale up and down, so scale up and down, um, along with control in identifying resources and the need for financial flexibility with a pay-per-use model, it's critical for companies to be able to scale resources up and down on demand and with ease as well. And if they are scaling up, they have to have that capacity available and accessible ahead of that demand. And scalability is important, especially database scalability, and also specifically for those application developers. You know, keeping up with demand, uh, without any downtime is an absolute mandate and scaling efficiently is, is really key to this. Um, we can manage service and, and get outcome based IT. So more and more, um, you know, infrastructure is becoming invisible or, it, you know, it should be becoming invisible really. So having a managed infrastructure allows the customer teams to focus on core projects and strategic initiatives, you know, rather than keeping the lights on and day-to-day and -day operations. So management and governance services can operate the solutions and manage it securely. Uh, many you know, managed services or uh, collaborative arrangements, I guess, can help accelerate digital transformation, but with a holistic strategy across technology, people, economics, and also scalability. So how does actually how does GreenLake actually work? So you'll see. So this this slide here is. Um, the actual usage and the actual cost for the customer. And in a CapEx world, the, the, the customer would purchase ahead and use and invest a large amount of cash in, in a, a, you know, a heavily over-provisioned environment. Um, although from day one, they, they really don't need this. So, so how we, we manage this, so, so as you can see there, so we actually right size uh, the customer uh, from day one. So, the hardware on the floor as well as a, a buffer capacity is there that the customer can use straight away with that um, comfort of having that additional capacity on site at no cost and risk to the customer and as the, as the environment grows and over the, the period of, of the agreement we practically work with the customer and use the capacity management tools to make sure that as, as we mentioned before you know that that capacity is there ahead of demand and ready for the customer to use when when they actually need it and this saves thousands of dollars hundreds of thousands of dollars and, and doesn't tie the cash out which is really really important so just a, a little bit deeper so um the reserved line there that you see so that that's what the uh the customer will will pay and agrees to pay as a minimum amount per month and we put a variable buffer as i mentioned before that's installed at uh, hp cost and risk and that allows the the customer to to be able to bounce up and down in in that buffer when um uh, when it's needed and additional uh, hardware and capacity uh, is actually uh, ordered and put on site with a simple change order so there's no going through uh, a lengthy procurement process as you normally would when ordering uh, additional hardware for that project okay so i think that's uh, that's me 
So I'd like to, oh no, one more. Sorry, getting, getting ahead of myself. So this is, yeah, so so th that's what we had was great. Uh, sorry, let me go back. So sorry, I'll mess this up, mate. That's all right. There we go. Yeah, so so that's great. But, um, you know, what, what does it actually mean in, in real terms? So this slide is is really interesting um, because uh, so, so Forrester actually went to our customers that were actually running HPE GreenLake in their environment. So, so this is true customer experience. And there, there are kind of three main areas that, that benefit, which is which is time, cost, and risk. So faster value uh, or deployment obviously takes out cost, but time to market is key for customers. And it, it can mean that they can get their services up and running quickly and turn revenue that would normally flow into the business months uh, months ahead in a matter of days. So, and also a quick time to market and faster to value can also give the customer a real edge over their competitor. So with the way the HP GreenLake works and the management tools that, that we mentioned, it really can simplify IT. And again, this is important as, as it allows the talent within the IT team to really focus uh, on what's aligned to the company's overall digital tra uh, digital uh, transformation strategy. And again, not just about keeping the lights on. We mentioned before that, that cloud economics, and this is, this is available now on-premise on with HPE GreenLake. Uh, cost is substantially reduced given the fact there's no upfront capital outlay. Cash can be used elsewhere in the business, again, because it's not tied into over-provisioned, underutilized hardware. And this is especially important, especially when you've seen what's happened over the last couple of years with, with companies looking to keep as much cash in the business as is economically possible and economically makes sense. So HPE GreenLake, really does allow them to do that and having proper control uh, means that the risk is reduced due to the simplification of the whole environment uh, and being on-prem means that things such as performance and latency can be managed to suit the customer's business requirements so that really is me for the moment uh, and it gives me a pleasure okay. to hand across to Ian uh, to take no. you through a few more thanks a lot Ian. Thanks for, cheers Al. thanks very much for that I appreciate that mate um, so look um, I just wanted to go through, <laughs> great, the dogs have started barking right at that very moment. So look, um, one thing that sort of really struck me when I started dealing with, uh, with the Green Lake team, so a lot of the messages that you, that HP came out with, were absolutely the same as what um, uh, Nutanix have been talking about for years. And I recognize a lot of the names on, the, on, on here from the Nutanix universe. Um, so you guys will be sort of uh, aware of the messages that Nutanix have, uh, have gone to the market with. And it's, you know, it's simplicity, it's, uh, it's, it's ease of, uh, uh, of, of upgrade, it's cost saving, it's time to value. And all these huge numbers that look like they've been made up by an over-enthusiastic marketing department. And there was a lot of synergy between what we were talking about and what the GreenLake team were talking about. And um, at Nutanix, we have a bunch of people that what would they call their cloud economists I don't know if many of you are aware of them um if you, you if they're a team that you should be because these are people that go into customers and they talk about what their uh, what customers problems are and, and how we can financially solve them you know and financial uh, benefits are driven by various software and hardware and services solutions and when I started speaking to them um, when we when we started partnering with, with, with GreenLake, and they were like, this is the missing piece to the Nutanix jigsaw, because all of the things we do, you know, we create a cloud platform. You know, it, it, it started off many years ago as, as, as HCI, and it moved to cloud management. We're bringing in unified storage, uh, databases, which we'll talk about in a, in a little while, desktop services, and you can run, you know, any application on top of it. And you know, that is a single point. It's just a, you know, it's a pool of resource that you can run your applications, manage them, update them, upgrade them uh, easily on this platform. But you can do it on any hypervisor. You know, you can choose whatever hypervisor you, you, you want to run it on. It'll look the same. But underneath of that, um, you can have it on uh, you know, the, the HP DX platform. But GreenLake just adds that extra option to a customer to say all of this you know, fractional consumption that I've got, I can have it on a pay per month uh, um, um, contract. I'm only actually paying for what I do use. I've always got capacity there for when I need it. And it's all managed. And that is just exactly what Nutanix customers and partners have been, been looking for. So the, 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 
the marriage between HPE and and, uh, and GreenLake and Nutanix was just a, was was, uh, was 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 perfect for us um, because you know where do we go? We as a as a as a uh, as a uh, organization, three simple tenants. You know, we want to make things easy. I think if we were to say what our true uh, um, uh, true aim as a company to do is to make things easy. You know, we want to make things from the minute you start using us all the way through. We want to give you the easiest platform that just allows you to scale endlessly. Um, and GreenLake helps us do this because not only can you, you 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 start off easy, you just pay. You start paying easily as well. We want to give intelligent. We want to bring intelligence into the software um, so that you know simple operations can be can be done uh, very easily. Uh, they can be done for you. They can uh, um, you can be alerted uh, that stuff that what's going to happen needs to happen and when. Um, speak to anybody that uses Nutanix. They talk about one click. They talk about one click all the time. That ability to just on a single click update, upgrade software, hardware, whatever it is. And that is just fits into this, this idea with GreenLake that everything is taken care of. Everything is managed. Everything is, is secure and, you know, and resilient because um, the way that we uh, replicate our data, manage our data, um, just builds security and resilience to, into everything at point of design and point of installation. It's not just bolted on, it's not an extra, it's absolutely completely within everything that we that we do. So just to build through this, you always get the build when you don't expect it, don't you? So what we're gonna just wanna talk uh, a few minutes about is, is where we've seen success and where we've seen um, uh, the most uh, traction and the, the most customer interest from Nutanix on GreenLake Solutions, because primarily it's four, um, end user computing. I think if anybody's known uh, Nutanix for a while, known that this is it's a, it's a very strong area for us. Um, obviously um, during the, 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 the pandemic was really the true uh, test of end user computing. And you know a lot of people, people have, uh, implemented it successfully now using, certainly using us, using Runic as well. Um, data services, classic sort of uh, um, you know, uh, 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 virtualized uh, applications. Um, we've also been very successful, but the two in purple where we talk about uh, private cloud, but first of all, databases. Um, so it's not always something that's readily uh, associated with, uh, with Nutanix, but, um, the I, you know, databases are, you know, the key, the absolutely key to businesses, the key to businesses and um, of all of the areas of a business, uh, you're probably going to say networking databases are the two, um, are the two crown jewels. Um, but, you know, they usually landed on uh, some expensive legacy hardware. They're usually managed separately. Scaling them up is hard because, of the costly uh, uh, software, the costly uh, um, uh, hardware, usually sometimes, uh, um, uh, you know, as I said, sort of legacy and archaic hardware sometimes. Um, and it's a pain when you have to update. You, it really is, it disrupts the business. So the updates uh, and the upgrades are kept to a minimum. So they tend to be large, they tend to be over-provisioned. So the cost of updating any database service is um, is timely, it's expensive, and it is completely disruptive. And um, so as, a, as, a, uh, as an organization, this falls exactly into sort of where we want to try and sort of, uh, uh, you know, to, to change what we, um, what we do, what a customer does, sorry. So it's, um, uh, if we're looking at our solutions, you know, what we do as a, uh, as a, um, as a business is, um, you know, if you're looking to run databases, you know, we can support all database engines um, on the same, same platform. You know, that is a huge headache saving uh, for an organization. The same platform supports, you know, uh, uh, the, 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 all of the um, uh, uh, database engines. The database, the data management are designed for, uh, to scale. Uh, to cater for sale, you're no single point of failure either. Um, we provide automated services to simplify uh, operations, you know, provisioning, patching, updates, cloning, um, database refreshes, backups. Um, it's a single solution. It's a single point of management, 
and it will also run on the same hardware, the same management that you are running all of your other platforms on. You match this up onto HPE uh, um, cloud services, then you've got all of this service for a monthly cost. You've got a, a buffer to move up if you do start to um, uh, if you do start to, to uh, uh, expand. Then you know you've got the uh, the, the the headroom there that um, that you can move into. Um, so you know there's not a dedicated platform for databases. This is the same platform that you're running all of your other uh, um, applications on as well. So there's not some single uh, um, um, single silo for databases that is is managed uh, and run all on, on its own. Um, and we've seen. This app, this database as a service, um, has been incredibly successful uh, across EMEA uh, with with GreenLake. It just makes sense. So you you can spin up these uh, uh, your, um, database on, uh, on on your Nutanix infrastructure managed by uh, uh, HPE with GreenLake and charged on a pair monthly basis. It's absolutely resonated with customers. And we've seen some uh, some really, really, really good um, results from that. So the next part um, or the next area I want to sort of talk about is uh, private cloud. This is a real uh, classic um, Nutanix area uh, for, uh, for, for our customers. So um, you know, again, you know, traditionally, with uh, with with, uh, with infrastructure, um, you know, public cloud uh, and um, uh, is, is is it's um, oh sorry, the uh, uh, cloud services um, with um, it's a single pane of management um, because you know with current infrastructure, it's numerous for uh, tools for support. Um, Pace just doesn't keep up with what customers, which uh, um, uh, stake, so stakeholders are frustrated with slow pace. But it's lines of business. It's lines of business want to uh, expand and increase what they do with the uh, with, with, with IT. They want to have a cloud-like experience. They, but you know, organizations are reticent to do it just because because the lack of security. Um, because the amount of, of, of data going into uh, into the public cloud is going to terrify a lot of organisations if they knew exactly what was out there. Um, so, as an organisation, the next one. On the, uh, as a self, we've taken you know what we do or what customers want from the public cloud and bring it to a uh, to to, to uh, a, a private cloud. Uh, experience. So pay as you go. It's exactly that. With new, with Nutanix and, and uh, as a platform, you buy what you need now. With, um, yeah, with with GreenLake, you pay for it as you use it. So you simply um, uh, deploy easily. You can manage yourself. So all of this is all managed by uh, um, in your own uh, way and single simple uh, single pane of glass. Troubleshooting is intelligent uh, and will uh, and, and is intuitive. Upgrade again, very very straightforward. Um, HPE also wrapped this up as a as a, as a uh, service as well. So upgrades are, are straightforward and managed and planning as well. You know you work with 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 uh, with HPE to to look at your you know how's your business growing? Do you need to add any more capacity in there? HPE will put a uh, uh, kit on the ground for you so that you're not having to, to run out and buy a uh, kit um, to, uh, to, 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 to cover. It will be there. When you need it, you can, you can grow into it. Um, so, I'll come here. Yeah. so what we want to talk about on uh, both of these cases is where we've, where we've won and where we've won together. And this is, this is uh, also um, what really struck me with working with, with uh, GreenLake customers is because I think the people that have worked with uh, Nutanix in the past will realize that Nutanix customers are quite keen to talk about where they, you know, where they've seen success. And um, HP GreenLake customers are exactly the same. They're, they're, they're usually getting case studies in this industry is not easy. I've never known anything so quite so easy as, uh, as um, uh, Nutanix and GreenLake. So where we've got here is, um, so we've got a, um, GreenLake win at a, at a uh, leading retailer, uh, global uh, retailer. 
And they started off looking at databases. They had a huge, um, huge Oracle estate. Uh, it was on AIX. And it was expensive. It was expensive. It was for all those reasons I said before, it was difficult to manage. It was a silo. Um, and that wasn't the way the business was moving. The business was moving more towards hyper-converged. And this kind of stuck out like a bit of a, a, bit of a sore thumb. Um, they, um, they looked at ERA and they really liked Nutanix ERA uh, database services. But they were also a huge GreenLake customer. I went, you know what? If we bring these together, what does, what does the joint win look like? Um, and it was huge. They had, a, I think the, the, the figure they made was eight. They had an $8 million saving on license costs alone in the first two years or over the first two years. The, um, the cost of management uh, the, or the cost saving of management was huge. And what actually the, 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 the takeaway from the customer was is that actually what else can we do with Nutanix on GreenLake. So they started off with ERA. They then moved to, um, uh, they then moved to uh, uh, desktop. And actually, I think it was 6,000, 6,000 to 8,000 uh, uh, VDR users uh, have been deployed uh, with Nutanix on GreenLake. And they've just announced that um, in their uh, desire to open up more and more stores at a faster and faster rate, they've moved that project over um, to a Nutanix on GreenLake platform because it allows them to spin up services to be able to open up offices at a rate the likes of which they've never um, uh, thought was possible or have been able to do in the past. So it's had a material difference on the business that this retailer can generate for itself. Um, so the uh, second customer win is a um, it's actually a reseller, it's a crowd provider, uh, CDW. Uh, in, the, in the UK, what CDW service works. So that's their uh, cloud provider. Um, and uh, a lot of the services were, um, were hosted on, a, I think it was a, it was a, it was a V-block was the, uh, was the, the infrastructure, um, which um, it was just, it, it wasn't able to scale, wasn't able to scale at the pace that they were wanting to, uh, to move at. Also, it wasn't able to, the, 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 the way that, they were being uh, charged, the money it was being, uh, um, the money that was uh, uh, being generated uh, versus what they were paying out just didn't match. So moving it over onto a Nutanix platform running on GreenLake just allowed them to act more as a, as a cloud provider um, and, uh, and offer services uh, based on that that fitted more in line with their, uh, their business. And they have continued, uh, again, like the previous one, look for other opportunities um, to expand uh, the um, the Green Lake platform, which is exactly what they have. So um, I think, Alan, I'm going to pass back to yourself, um, uh, which I think you can you can control the control the screen. I believe. Oh, I'll go back. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. No Great. Thanks again, Neil. So yeah, fantastic overview and yeah. And as Ian mentioned, you know, especially with um, with era that's that's only recently been added to the the Green Lake portfolio, what we're seeing some really really um, great interest in that. And and as many, you know, that that win that, that Ian went through was was absolutely tremendous. So um, I just really wanted to to spend a little bit more more time as to um, as to, as to you know, as I mentioned before, why why our partners are really leaning in into to Green Lake now. And I think. Yeah, Ian as well. We've seen lots more partner opportunities come through. We're, we're working with partners a lot more on on green lake opportunities as well. So, so there really, there really, really is a real big kind of push. I think from our partners. So, just quickly wanted to run through why I think um, this, this is happening. So, obviously, we we give uh, uh, the rebate, uh, which I think at the moment is seventeen percent. Now, Utanix also offer a rebate on Green Lake opportunities as long as that customer qualifies under their rebate program. So we do get some questions around that, but but that is uh, that is covered as, as long as it fits within in the Nutanix uh, guidelines for their rebate program. So pipeline and longevity, uh, I think it, it is really important for our for our partner community because you know the pipeline. Uh, once they get onto Green Lake, it, it, it will grow and it also will help secure kind of longer term revenues. And, and you know, we found that, as it says there, 25 to 50 percent year on year growth once the customer um, is onto 
uh, onto GreenLake. And, and, you know, Ian mentioned there, you know, we started off with ERA, we've now gone onto desktop. So there's, there's a real, real opportunity to, to, to increase that, that, that growth within that customer. And also, you know, you get long-term engagement. So that gives our partners the opportunity to, to really get into that customer and, um, and become a trusted advisor. Um, and, you know, that, you, you get a long-term relationship and, and that's without them going across to RFP, out to other partners to get pricing. So GreenLake um, is really sticky and especially, you know, with Nutanix and the, and the reputation and, and the actual solutions they offer, it, it's a fantastic solution, guys. It really, really is. Um, and, and then you know, can that kind of, you know, moves on to, to loyalty as, as what I've just, just mentioned. So, um, you know, we're, we're HP Green is, is the market leader without without doubt, and you know our retention rates. It says there is ninety five percent plus. Utanix have got a similar uh, net promoter score, so you know we do get loyal customers, and that that's something that I think when we first started the the um, the relationship around GreenLake, uh, I attended uh, the dot next in in Copenhagen, and. and amount of customers that, that came up to the booth and said fantastic you know Nutanix is great HPE hardware is, is is great come and talk to us about it so you know you, you'll you'll get interest from the customers you know we're we're now in our 13th year we've got over 1350 customers that that are using Green Lake um, and in Q1 this year alone I think we added over 100 new new logos so it's tried and tested um, and again with with the, the, the kind of companies that you're dealing with here around the solution the customers will be really interested to talk to you so uh just trying to get this slide in sorry can you move this slide on i can't yeah. seem to thank you cool so um yes yeah, so just mentioned maybe i just wanted to touch i know we're, we're we're starting to get close to to time so um this is how the kind of rebate structure works so as i said there the initial uh Rebate is, is calculated as you can see there on the on the minimum commit, which is is the reserve line that, that I showed earlier. So generally as a rule of thumb, um 80% as a as a committed capacity uh, figure works well. And then that additional um buffer that that goes on top of that, that that's there for the customer use. So it gets calculated, it says there by the capacity, the unit price and the term, and then and then we issue the rebate. So as the as the solution grows as well, when you move on to number two, um, the partner receives the rebate for the usage above that committed capacity. And again, as I mentioned before, one of the great things with with GreenLake, and we've seen it with with many customers, is that you know as that consumption starts to grow and additional hardware is needed on site, then we just do a simple change order, and that that literally takes as as long as it does for the customer to sign sign that before the order's placed. So again. There's no going through that procurement process. There's no going through that. Should we check pricing with other partners? So that, again, that that really does, I think, well, well our channel partners have seen some real value in, in working with, with HPE GreenLake. So I think before we finish off, I just wanted to, great, thanks, Ian. So just because okay. obviously, you know, we're, some guys might be new to GreenLake, some new to new tanks. So I just wanted to give a, an overview really of, of, of what a good Nutanix opportunity with GreenLake would look like. So, um, so yeah, so I'll just go through a few because I say we've got obviously time constraints. So, so for cost, so poor utilization, I mean that you talk to customers anywhere um, and their, their, their environment is, is underutilized and over provisioned. So um, as I mentioned before that, that just ties up cash in the business really. And, and, especially nowadays where, where cash is, is, is really king and, and customers will want to keep cash in their business as much as possible. This pay-per-use model allows them to use that for strategic um, digital transformation uh, opportunities as well. So also mentioned, you know, it's difficult with, with IT the way it is at the moment to, to actually align the cost with that business, but um, with uh, HP GreenLake, with the Nutanix, the way we can manage it and monitor it, customer can actually align costs to that part of the business so who's using that capacity how successful has it been so it makes it a lot easier to do that um and again tco so don't, don't and again there, there seems to be um this kind of thing that you know public cloud is less expensive it's great it's but you know it's not so don't be don't be 
kind of scared, I guess, to, to have a conversation around TCO because we're seeing more customers now repatriating from public cloud to on-prem because of the, the, the egress charges, the, um, you know, just the, the, the overall cost of it. So, so don't be, you know, don't be shy to have that conversation. I know that, you know, uh, our solutions architects, Ian mentioned the cloud economists, we'll, we'll help you all we can to, to, to put that, that kind of cost, uh, cost, um, in place against public cloud so uh, risk again so um that you know and again a lot of, a lot of applications can't go into public cloud so um and this is down to security to latency and also just the applications not being being able to go on to to public cloud so there is that that risk that be, that is is done away with once you get that stuff on on premise file fast is interesting because we you know we mentioned a buffer and a lot of customers use that um to put new services into market to to test the market to see how it goes and if they could if they if it works then fantastic if not you know they they, they can fail fast and the, the capacity can be just folded back into into the environment at, at no cost to them and time I mentioned, you know, time with with time to market, getting new services and, and being revenue producing. Um, and again, the, the the long procurement cycle is is reduced from, you know, we talk to customers that it takes 120 days to to set up an environment from from order to completion. And and with um, Greenlake for Nutanix, we, we can get that down to to a couple of days. So um, thanks again for for um, for your time this morning. Um, and I guess the the call to action really is just to have a think and go, you know, go and position HP Greenlight for Nutanix to, to, to your customers. Mentioned before, the key to success is really early engagement for, for, for all of us, for, for you, for Nutanix and us all to get together. Um, and we will help you wherever we can with any, any further information or any help you need with that engagement. So thanks again, guys. Um, and I hand back to Angie. Thank you, Alan, and thank you, Ian. That was interesting. Well, the good thing, as I mentioned in the beginning, is that it's been recorded and we will host this on Tech Data Channel Academy. And because of the technical glitch we had, we are going to, rec um, uh, I mean, um, make this webinar available in all different languages and host it on Channel Academy. We will make sure that we will send you the link, the correct link to the correct language so you are able to um, access this. So apologies for that. Also, we will reschedule this properly, uh, making sure that all the languages are working uh, the next time. So um, keep an eye out for that invite from us. Uh, thank you very much, everybody, for joining the call. Yeah. Thank you, Ian. Thank you, Alan. Can I just, and, can I just yes, quickly add? Course, we've, we've, yeah, sorry, we've just got you know, a couple of minutes. And I was very conscious that a question came in yes. uh, regarding, uh, and it's a really, really good point. We talked about the uh, era customer uh, reference and uh, kind of where did it start? Did it start with infrastructure or team or did it start with a database team? Well, it, it was, it's a great question because it was a bit of both because what we did as an organization, we were in, as we tend to be, we tend to, we were in with the infrastructure team, but what we quickly, you know, we, we, we're very, you know, very quick to ask the question of, look, you know, what issues have you got with databases? And most customers will say, we've got quite a few. So we got sponsored by the infrastructure team to take us in to the database, uh, the, the, the database administrators. And it quickly became a really sort of strong uh, conversation there. Um, and it was a, was it a land and expand? Um, it sort of was because we knew GreenLake, uh, we knew the customer had, had GreenLake in certain parts. So we just thought, having databases as a service using GreenLake would just be a real a real sort of strong uh, compelling solution for the customer which it turned out it turned out it was so um, I hope I think that was from uh, David Harris I hope that answers your question uh, David so um, but yeah just wanted to make sure we, we, we acknowledged it well, yes, and I'm any sure. more questions, please feel free to put that in. We have our experts here. Um, we have a couple of minutes, or probably not, but if you have <laughs> any more questions. <laughs> okay, so we'll make it a wrap then. Thank you very much, Alan and Ian. Thank you. And yes, we will make Thank the um, recording available on Tech Data Channel Academy for you all to access. Have a good day, everyone. Take care. Thank Bye -bye. you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.